honeys welcome back it's me Jenny how is everyone doing today so we are going to be doing another DIY project for the Christmas series I'm super excited about this project and when I say super excited I mean super excited now there is no secret that I love to wrap presents for Christmas that is one of the things that I love the most which is wrapping presents and making them really pretty and I wanted to do something different this year because I wanted to give my presents to my friends and family but I wanted to make it a little bit more festive and a little bit more pretty looking and just more fancy right so I want to show you um, what I'm going to be doing to um, make my gift look more presentable I have in front of me a few things that I am going to be working with now I have these two snowflakes wood veneers that I got at Michael's last year. You can get these anywhere. But these are the, the you know, wood veneers that I got at Michael's. So we're going to make two different kinds of um, scenery. I'm going to explain to you in a minute what that means. I also am going to make a tiny one for those of us who just have like these little tiny snowflakes. I have tons like these that I bought at Michael's last year. So I figure, let me show you also a way to make the same project but with a smaller snowflake, just to give you a variety of different ideas, okay? You're gonna need some clothespins. I have a natural one here and a kind of rustic looking one here. And then I also have a smaller uh, clothespin right here that we're going to use have my hot glue going I have some Christmas flowers now for this project you're going to be needing um, a lot of little miniature little items for example I have some Christmas trees here that are little mini Christmas trees you're gonna need a few of those I got these at Michael's you're definitely gonna need some flowers that are Christmas related um, I have these little berry flowers that I love to use for all my Christmas projects um, I have this little tiny deer miniature, um, you know, little cute item that I got at Michael's. You can really get anything. They have um, Santa Claus, they have snowflakes, they have um, snowman. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of little miniature um, items for decorating your Christmas, you know, um, things. Now, I also have these little tiny, tiny little souvenirs because, or these are like more like figurines, like little tiny figurines. Now I got these, I don't even know where I got this to be honest with you, I had this for a while. And what they are is they're kind of like garden that goes around the tiny trees. And I got these garden and what I did was I kind of like pulled them apart and kept the little figurines. So that's what we're going to use for our little um, paper clip one that we're going to do okay um, and that's basically it now like I said you can use and incorporate things that you have at home for this project it doesn't have to be these things that I'm showing you you can use earrings you can use um, paper you can use anything I have here um, you can even use like Christmas balls that would be also a nice um, idea I have some of these peppermints. You can include that in your, you know, display. Whatever you want. It's, it's the the list is endless when it comes to this project. Okay. The last thing that I want to tell you is I'm also going to be using these Christmas picks. You guys know how obsessed I am with these Christmas picks. I showed you guys a uh diy project using this pics and i'll link that at the bottom of this video if you haven't seen it but we are going to be using two of these as well okay so let's get started so i can show you how much fun this is going to be so i'm gonna close in a little bit because these figurines are so tiny that i'm pretty sure you guys are not going to be able to see them Okay, but I'm gonna zoom you in as much as I can. I hope that's not too close. Okay, so here we have the two wood veneer um, snowflakes that we're using. For this one, as you can see, it has some like white coating. I just sprinkled a little bit of uh, artificial snow um, and I kind of like let it sit for a little while so it can dry up. That's, that's what you see there. 
this is the same one plain and then this is the little one that's a smaller version okay so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to add our picks to our snowflake right because obviously you have to make it um you have to just you know obviously see how it looks when you're putting this together so take your hot glue and if you don't have these picks don't worry you can really use anything you can use folk flowers or you can even use like leaves um you can use uh let's see you can use paper if you want make sure the paper is a little bit bigger than your snowflake that's also okay um you can really use a lot of different things i just really love these picks and i'm obsessed with them so i have to use them Okay, so there's there's the first the first um the first item or the first thing that we need to do which is put together these picks and these wood veneers. Already it looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, for this one we're gonna leave alone because we don't have any picks that are gonna actually um go on the bottom of this one. So you're basically gonna build your scenery, right? So what are you gonna do? I have these little deer. Just build your scenery how you want it to look, okay? So maybe you want your deer to look this way. Maybe you want your tree to look this way. It is really up to you. Um, I know it's gonna be very hard to see because I'm kind of facing down and you're not gonna be able to kind of see what I'm doing. But as you can see here, you can basically just glue your little image onto whatever you know section you would like so i'm gonna glue my little image and i'm gonna show you in a minute how it's gonna look okay so let's say i want to glue my little image this way okay so as you can see there i'm gonna come sideways so you can see see that just hold that for a few seconds and you should get something like this see that you have that cute little deer that's off the little corner and it's just so adorable I love it okay now we're going to actually add our Christmas tree so you can basically build around your little deer where you want your Christmas tree I think I know where I want mine so I'm going to hot glue that roughly right around here I'm going to hold down to that and then I'm going to show you. Okay. See that so far how that looks? So pretty, right? And then, anything else that you have. I have these Christmas trees or these Christmas, Christmas flowers or fake flowers that I love to use on all my projects. So I think I want to add this somewhere roughly around here. See that? And that will kind of give you like that nice Christmas spirit. So let's hot glue this folk flower right where I showed you, which will be roughly around here. Okay. And I know that it's difficult to see, but um, I think you guys will get the hint of it. Okay. And then you should get something like this. See that you got your little Christmas tree over here you got your cute little deer and then you got this really cute um, Christmas little folk flower okay now onto my deer I would like to put a little bow red bow so I can if I want make my own little bow or I can just leave it as is. I think I want to do a cute little pink bow with this uh, ribbon really quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to add this cute little bow to my deer. I think it just looks super cute. And it's kind of appropriate because the tree is pink, the bow is pink. It's going to look super adorable. Okay, so make your bow. And then let's cut this, cut it to size. Okay, and we're going to add this bow, as you can see there, onto our Christmas little deer. See that? Right there. Okay, so 
I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm going to add this bow. I'm going to come as close as I can, guys. Right on the little deer's neck. And he looks adorable with that bow. Do you see that? See how cute he looks with that bow? Very cute. And my scenery is basically done. Now, if you want to go around and you want to add more things, you could. I have here these Christmas um, flower. I can actually add this to the front of my other Christmas that I have there. And that would actually look pretty nice and very festive. See, we can kind of add these onto these right here. And that makes like a really pretty scenery. So let's do that. Let's add some hot glue to this one. And we're going to go right underneath here. Let's hold it for a few seconds. And there you have it. See that? How adorable and cute is this scenery for your gift. Now, the last thing you need to do is add obviously add your uh, clothespin on to your little scenery so what you're gonna do is you basically just gonna hot glue your clothespin on to your scenery so let's do that now together okay and you're gonna hold that on for a few seconds Okay, and there you have this fantastic scenery, gorgeous for your present. Isn't that just such a beautiful presentation? I mean, your friends will love you when they see this on their gift. I love it. Okay, let's make a smaller one, okay, using this tiny, 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 little snowflake it could be done it could be done okay you just have to be a little bit more careful in how to place everything but it could be done so i'm going to use one of these tiny trees since the tree is the biggest thing right now in this um little scenery make sure you place your tree first and then you build around your tree okay so right here i already placed my tree in the corner as you can see there and I still have some space over here to put more stuff, right? So let's put this Christmas flower right in the corner next to the Christmas tree. Okay, right there. And that's perfect. That looks awesome. You see that? How cute that looks. And then on this little space right here, we're going to add the little miniature Santa right there there okay so let's hot glue that and there you have a really adorable little scenery for your gift you see that right there how cute is that all you have to do is just add your clothespin which I have a tinier one here Right hot glue it onto the clothespin and you're ready to go. So let's do that right now. And I love this idea because whoever gets this present, um, in reality, they can actually even use this gift as maybe like an ornament for their tree or maybe they can recycle it and give it to another friend so it's a really good idea to give to your friends and they will really love it i think okay so there you have it guys that's all you there is really to it now on to our present so our present is really pretty our present is really gorgeous i love 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 everything about it i love the ribbon i love the paper but i also wanted to add more to it right so that's when this comes in handy so what you're going to do is you're going to open your um clothes pin and you're just going to basically add it on to your gift just like so okay 
when you give this to your friend and they see how beautiful this present is, they are going to love it. So can you imagine receiving something like this from your friend? I mean, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's just beautiful. It's so pretty. It looks so elegant. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And like I said to you guys before, the best thing about this is that your friends can actually take this and maybe add it onto their tree or maybe, you know, gift it to somebody else or just keep it for memories. But I just thought it was just a really wonderful idea to dress up your present and it just gives it a little bit more of like, you know, like you really worked hard on wrapping your present. You know, sometimes it's not what's in the gift, it's actually what you put into it. So I think your friends will really, really love this. And then for the little one, you will probably do the same thing. This little one would be perfect if you're giving like a jewelry box. Maybe you're giving somebody jewelry and you're putting a, and you're wrapping into a small jewelry box. This will be perfect. Not to mention, it could be also perfect for your December dailies, for your pocket letters. I mean, the list is endless, okay? So let's add this one over here so you can have an idea how it looks. Just so you have an idea. And there you see, there you see, you see right there, the Christmas, the little Christmas tree with the little Santa and the little tiny um, flower. I'm sorry you can't probably see this too much because obviously it's so tiny, but make sure you stop by my Instagram account and I will have a really nice picture for you so you can really see how it looks um, and how pretty and festive it, it really makes your present look, okay? So that is basically it, honeys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, honeys. Have a fantastic weekend.